vlogmas day 14 so today is tuesday it's december the 13th i'm not sure if i mentioned this or not but we are on christmas break officially um we don't start back to school until i think it's january the third it's the tuesday after the first i think that's the third of january so we're on break and we have been really enjoying it and staying busy with like fun christmas activities and doing different things hands-on things like the kids painting ornaments i actually have some ugly sweater cookies for them to decorate we'll probably do that thursday maybe friday i'm not sure yet we still have our gingerbread house as well to do but anyway Allie's birthday is january the 9th that's like less than a month and every year i take her for, to get her nails done i also take kylie so i took kylie a month early so i'm taking hallie almost a month early so we're gonna go in here and get our nails done real quick we're here early it's 9 22 they open at 9 30 i wanted us to be like the first two in that way we can get it over with because if you get here later in the day you're more than likely going to wait a good bit because they stay pretty busy here. So hopefully we'll be the first two in there, get our nails done. But this morning for breakfast, I just had scrambled eggs and bananas. I didn't even have like a full half a cup of milk. It was less than half a cup. It was like just a little bit of milk this morning. So I've been doing pretty good on my points, except yesterday at lunch, we didn't have many options because, you know, we had our Christmas get together. We had little Smokies, mac and cheese and ham. I didn't have any ham, but I did have a few little Smokies. I had a half of a peanut butter jelly sandwich and a little bit of mac and cheese with my water. But sometimes, you know, when that's what's available, that's what you have to eat. But I did cut back and eat a smaller portion um, than what I normally would have. So I think little changes like that, like when food is in front of you, and it's time to decide, okay, what's the better option here? Just as you go making like good choices with your food, like do smaller portions or cut this out or, you know, things like that. So I'm learning just to kind of cut things out where I can and just make a good decision at each meal of how much I eat and make sure I have my water with that. So we're going to stay on track. We may get off here and there, but we're going to do our best to stay on track with making good choices. She picked out like this pretty blue color. It's got like a little smiley face on the tip. I can't decide. I'm undecided. So I'll probably decide when I get in there. I'm going with like a purple or maybe just white tips. I haven't decided. I can't decide if I want those. She can't decide. She wants these like light blue, which is really pretty. <laughs> Are those? Or these. See, they're the light blue with like a little smiley face on the fingertip. So either one of them are going to be pretty. So many color options. Dwarf galaxies and the way they interact with the galaxies can inflict tremendous change in our universe. When they slam into a galaxy, they can change its structure. Which one matches that? Not look anything like this it one? Today without those oh, galaxies. look, you're talking about the pinky. Yeah, I think that matches pretty good with that one. So we are back home and I'm about to get dinner started in the crock pot. Now I am doing crock pot chicken and rice. Everything goes in here. We don't even have to cook the rice first or anything. So I'm going to show you the recipe real quick. All right. So I've got the chicken added to the crock pot. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of black pepper. Two teaspoons of salt. And about two teaspoons of minced garlic. Now I'm going to add some onion. Now I'm adding two cans cream of chicken. Now I'm going to add in three cups of brown rice. Now we're going in with six cups of chicken broth. I only got five cups of chicken broth out of this. So I'm just going to add a cup of water in for the last cup. Now we're just going to mix all of this together in here. I think with this tonight, I'll do like some sweet baby carrots um, or maybe some rolls on the side with this. And now we're going to cook it on high for about four hours, um, maybe five. We'll just see. What do you have, Missy? Huh? She's like, no thanks. 
No oh, thanks, I don't want to ride the horsey. Mila, do you want to ride the horsey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right y'all, so it is a little while later now. It's almost four and I had a little Walmart delivery because when I went to Ingalls the other day, I told y'all we need to do a Walmart delivery as well. So they brought some stuff to go ahead and fill us in for the rest of the week. Today is Tuesday, so we're officially good until like the end of this week. We'll need more milk by this weekend. Should be good on bananas though, because I bought a lot of bananas at Ingles the other day. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got from Walmart real quick. So starting over here, we needed some more cereal. I got two boxes of the vanilla and almond special K, fruit and yogurt special K, and then I got two boxes of the cinnamon crunch. And then the kids have already opened up these raisins. Um, it came in a pack, I think, of four or six. I can't remember, but they were looking because you can color the back of the raisin boxes. So they're excited to color that. And then I got two things of applesauce. I went ahead and got two more gallons of milk back there, a head of lettuce, and then I got two bags of carrots because I think I'm gonna do some carrots tonight with our chicken and rice. And then I got some little tomatoes for my salads. I got some dinner rolls, and then I got some more bagels for the kids. And then also the cinnamon raisin bread, some Hawaiian rolls. I got some pretzels, and then I got some of these um, tortilla shells because I like to make ham and cheese wraps with red wine vinegar, and I this is like the carb balance. I got these. If y'all have a um, suggestion for some good wraps, let me know, and I'll check those out. I got some bagel bites, some little pizza snacks, Uncrustables, some more butter. I got some of these wheat thins for me. I don't think anybody else will like these. They're the tomato and basil flavor. And then I got a thing of Pringles. I got more eggs back there and then some cans of pears because the kids are loving to snack on pears here lately. And then the household things I got was just, just some paper towels, toilet paper, and laundry detergent. And that is everything that I got from Walmart. The girls got out the spiral graph that Emily has had for a long time. She's letting them borrow it. And they're having fun making little creations over here before dinner. All right, we're done with dinner. Millie's having her not like cup of milk over here and Amy got my phone. So we're getting ready for bedtime soon. It is already 7.30 and it feels so much later than what it is. But anyway, I wanted to update y'all on dinner real quick. That chicken and rice was absolutely delicious. Y'all will have to try that one because it was so simple to make. So good, everybody loved it. Josh even went back for seconds on that one. So we had the chicken and rice and then we had um, sweet baby carrots and then we had cranberry sauce and rolls which I left the roll off of my plate. I didn't have the bread with mine tonight, but y'all, it was so good. I will link that recipe in the description box down below if y'all want to go check it out and try it. I think it only took about four and a half, five hours on high to cook, and then I put it on warm, and then eventually I just turned it off completely because it was still cooking a little bit even on warm, and then it sat there with it off in the crock pot for over an hour and it was still very warm when we went to eat it. But anyway, I thank y'all for hanging out with us once again. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below before you leave today. Also, I wanna say real quick, thank y'all so much. I have reached over 12,000 subscribers. Y'all mean the world to me and I truly mean that. Every one of your comments that I read, your likes, just watching my videos, y'all help me so much and I have loved getting to know y'all the past few years. So I just wanna say I appreciate y'all and I appreciate you coming to our channel and becoming a part of our family here. But as always, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye y'all.